in a party 75 persons took tea 60 persons took coffee 15 percent took both the tea and coffee no one taking tea no one taking milk is uh, taking tea each person takes at least one drink so this is a venn diagram question so there is tea coffee and milk so i am drawing uh, three circles like this okay so let's say this circle this first circle represent tea this one's coffee this one coffee and this one milk so it says that 75 persons took tea so in this total circle will be having 75 percent and this total circle of coffee will be having 60 percent okay now it says that 15 persons took both the tea and coffee so the intersection of tea and coffee that is tea and coffee means this both this one will be having 15 persons now it also says that no one taking milk takes tea that means milk and tea won't be having anything in common so the intersection of milk and tea will be having zero persons because if the person take milk he will not take tea so here zero will come because this is an intersection of milk and tea here also zero will come that means we already told that total here is 15 since it is zero here 15 will be here so we have written like this now we know that in the circle of tea total is 75 so 15 already we have written like this so tea alone will be 60 the persons who are taking tea alone will be 60 now this circle the circle of co coffee is having 60 persons and 15 we have already written here that means this both this will be having total of 45 okay so now let us see the question is how many persons attended the party we need to find out the persons attended the party now let us assume that the persons who are taking coffee alone is c so here it is c and the persons who are taking milk alone is m so here it is m now the persons who are taking both the milk and coffee let's let's say it is x so i am writing x here okay now the statement one says that 50 persons took milk that means m plus x is 50 okay together this two will be 50 so uh, the intersection we it is not mentioning the intersection that is x we cannot find out so it could be 10 persons who are taking both coffee and milk it could be 20 persons who are taking both coffee and milk so if the uh, number of persons who are taking both coffee and milk changes the total number of people attending the party will also change right so we cannot answer the question using statement one alone now let's us take statement two the number of persons who attended the party is five times the number of persons who took milk only milk only is m actually so the total persons attended the party is actually in the circle of tea it is 75 right and in the in the rest of the circle of coffee it is 45 so 75 plus 45 plus this m will come this is the total number of people who participated in the party right so this is equal to five times the number of persons who took milk only so this is equal to five times m so from here you can calculate what is m if i bring m here it will become 4m so 4m is equal to 75 plus 45 it's 120 and m is equal to 30 so we got that m is 30 using statement 2 okay now we know that total number of person is 75 plus 45 plus m we got m so we can find out the num total number of persons attended the party by using statement 2 alone okay so option a is the right answer the question can be answered using one of the statement alone but cannot be answered by the other statement alone. So option A is the right answer.